We've been keeping a secret from you. <laughs> if you've been following along, you'll know that we bought a van not long ago, and really the plan was that we would be on a big lap of Australia right now. That has not happened at all, not even close. <laughs> but we've been home for a long time and we're in need of an adventure. We've been waiting for our van for ages and things really aren't going to plan in that department, but we are getting very itchy feet and we had something to celebrate. So we booked an Airbnb last night and that's where we're going. House. It really looks like someone's house, but it could be just like in their backyard. The Airbnb listing just says like vague sort of instructions like where the dirt road starts and look for this sign and we found this sign but it kind of looks like we're just in someone's driveway. Which I guess makes sense like it could be in their backyard. Oh that's it! Did you know they'd be here? No. Oh my god. bring the bags in. Tell me why we bring a million things even though we're just here for one night. I pack less when we leave for a year. I am very glad we didn't choose to go camping. <laughs> Almost went to York's. Okay, quick van update before we tell you what this announcement is that we keep going on about. Literally today we picked the van back up from the mechanics which sounds like good news. Unfortunately even though they had it for what three weeks? More. Over three weeks they did not fix the air conditioning. So we know what part it is that it's missing. We are just going to try and source it ourselves. They have flicked it so now instead of constantly being on hot it's going to constantly be on cold which I think is a good thing but we are coming into winter now. <laughs> <laughs> so it does continue, it also didn't turn on this morning. So van life struggles are real. I don't actually know when we're gonna start trying to do some renovations on it and all of the fun things and the big lap of Australia is looking further and further away. I think we'll start pulling stuff out this week though. So hopefully everything goes to plan. Next video we'll actually be renovating, at least pulling stuff out. That'd be good. But for now, settle in. <laughs> <laughs> My slippers almost came off. Now that we're cozy, the fun begins. If you saw the last video that came out about our van, right at the end of filming, something very exciting happened. <laughs> and that's why we have champagne. I'm scared. <laughs> Quick. Cheers. We're engaged. So literally right after we finished filming that video, we were at Karakalinga Beach and Jordan was like, let's go for a little walk. We went for a little walk and he got down on one knee. I didn't ask and she didn't say yes, but we're <laughs> it was too emotional. Emily dropped her phone, it was the whole thing. Yeah. But we're engaged. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, they came right up. Yeah, they wanted to hear the engagement part. <laughs> we didn't plan any sort of engagement party or anything and a couple of our friends last night were saying, why don't you do something? And so we treated ourselves to a rainy afternoon. <laughs> We just sat here having some of our sparkling wine and have realized we have been together for eight years. That's so long. <laughs> our first date was actually to Jordan's work ball. So he used to work for Flight Center and every year they had like this fancy ball that you got dressed up for. And it was like free food, free booze. It was the best time. It was fun. <laughs> it was so good. But we've actually known each other for longer than that. Yeah, a long time. We kind of went to the same school. I wish we had a cool story, like a meet cute, but we don't. <laughs> This is the internet, we can make that up. <laughs> I was running one day. Oh no, on a plane. That'd yeah. be a cool one. She was on a plane, I was on a hot air balloon. Wow. Figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a lot in our eight years. We've bought three houses, started a business, and now we're engaged. That's pretty good. Will we have a proper wedding? No. I don't think so. No. I think we'll um, run away somewhere cold, maybe in Europe somewhere, and mm. get married there. If you can think of somewhere that would suit our personalities, we're thinking snow. Like mountaintop vibes, eloping, just us. We've had a few comments from a few people asking why at home. Mm. But I think because we travel so much, home is more special. And how do you pick one place while yeah. traveling to do it? And She'd never expect it. And now we can always go back to Karakalinga Beach and be like, oh, this is where we got engaged. Yeah, if it was like in Switzerland, it'd be amazing. Mm. 
but how often are we going to be back in Switzerland to... Good excuse to go to Switzerland every that year. That is a good excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think this through. Damn it. Oh, let's give you a quick tour of where we're staying. Okay. Super quick. Okay. Super quick tour of where we're staying. It is a tiny house. It looks like it's a shipping container and it looks like it's on wheels, which is really cool. It's a farmland where we are. So there's horses, donkeys, tiny horses, kangaroos, everything surrounding us. The photos did look like we would be more secluded than we are, but we are quite private. There's no one at the other tiny house that they have. So it is very private for us. As soon as you walk in, you can see everything. <laughs> This is the tiny kitchenette, which I hope has some form of Bunsen, Bunsen burner. <laughs> which I hope has some form of cooktop hidden away somewhere so we can cook dinner tonight. There is plenty of storage underneath all of the stairs. And behind me is a tiny bathroom. Toilet, sink, shower. What else do you need? Back this way. This is like the quickest tour ever. Lovely couch. Up these slightly dangerous stairs is the bed. And that's it. <laughs> what else do you need though? I feel like they've made really good use of the area. I really like, is this called cladding? I really like the cladding that they have. Shiplap. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Shiplap cladding. That sounds familiar. That sounds like three birds renovations. <laughs> I like it. Whew, that's the speed round tour. Might be the quickest we've ever done. <laughs> now dinner. Now games, then dinner. I've set us up for some games. They actually gave you Connect Four and Picture This. We did bring cards as well, but I've never heard of Picture This, so I thought we should play that one. And one cool feature is that the couch has like flattened out. So it's more of a bench that we can sit on. I do wish that they had like a side table. I'll need more from you. Questions 11? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Question two. <laughs> Which government agency is housed in the Pentagon? We were just listening to oh. it. Hillary Clinton. Great, right, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Game over. Picture this. It's quite fun. We just need an updated version because it's very out of. Yeah, date. it's early two thousands. It's quite difficult. But I won. Oh, my God. That's all that matters. Now can we eat it? <laughs> yeah. Now it's time to cook something for dinner because one bottle of bubbly after you haven't drunk for a while goes to your head. So when we are home for a while, we stay with my parents, which is very lovely, but we have essentially been home since November last year, which is six months. That is the longest <laughs> we have been home in two years. And it has been lovely. We've been able to see a lot of family, a lot of friends, catch up with a bunch of people, be at a bunch of weddings, which was the point. But I think having the van, we just thought it would be ready by now. We thought we'd be going on adventures and flying home to be at these things, but we've just been home. Home, which is why something like this might not seem like much to many people, but it's so nice to like scratch that itch, scratch that travel bug itch a little bit. It's so hard to fathom how quickly we used to move. Like we were looking at our old footage from Southeast Asia when we first started and it was like two days in this country and then we're on the next country. And like, that seems crazy. At the same time, I'd love to try that again. We have flights to Southeast Asia in July and I am super excited for that. I just I think we thought we would have like completed three months in the van doing a full lap yeah. of Australia in that time and it's April now it's so, like doing that three months we would have to leave today and go until we fly home so that's not gonna happen still might be a fast and furious lap though I think it's looking more like a fast and furious start up oh, dart down dart this way dart back we can't complete the lap without driving a lot of hours every day spending so much money on petrol mm. But then like, which section would you do? Would you go up through the middle Darwin and then across to P Perth and stuff because it's winter, like you might get better weather? Or would you do the Great Ocean Road up through Sydney and Brisbane and stuff and then back down? Like we, I feel like we have to pick a half at this point. So which one do we pick? Help. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, this one, I've picked. <laughs> no. We're in trouble. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. It's hard to beat pesto pasta. I've missed this, just us making do with what we have at like a hotel or an Airbnb. It's so nice. Another rainy afternoon, I don't know what I'm to do. I just miss you more than anything. It's way too quiet in the house. Unfortunately, we had plans to make a fire and roast some marshmallows tonight, but completely forgot that it is still fire ban season. <laughs> yeah, even though it's cold, but. So we can't do that, that's okay. We can still eat them. 
there are all these really dark grey clouds rolling in. But I think we've had a pretty decent sunset considering. I know the hour's getting late. I shouldn't sit here to contemplate. I just can't stop thinking about it. Good morning from our tiny house. I think both of us slept pretty well. We've woken up and there is a lovely rainbow. Not 100% sure what the plan is this morning. I have a feeling we have to check out by like 10 a.m. So we'll have to pack up everything, get the car packed. And then we're actually nearby Kaipo Forest. So I think we're gonna go for a walk around there. But first, breakfast. Thank you. We are somewhat conflicted. This like casual style of filmmaking and just kind of doing whatever we want is not high impact and is not high energy. There's not heaps going on, but I don't know how watchable it's gonna be. Are you so, saying our video is not good? <laughs> well, this is the thing. I would find it really interesting to watch other creators doing this sort of just random style because I'm interested in the creators, but objectively, we've just come to a really nice farm and had a really nice night to celebrate our anniversary and took you guys along, so. Tastes like pancake. What? Tastes like pancake, mm. doesn't it? <laughs> That's so confusing. It's because of the granola's maple pecan flavor. I think our style of video is bound to change when we actually have the van and we're doing van life stuff like there's going to be more of a story, more of a chronological things happening. We just feel so lost at the moment. I think being home for so long has been a blessing, but given that we have a travel YouTube channel, it's also been a curse. <laughs> mm, we've just not had those sort of adventure days to be able to film since we came back from New Zealand, which was felt like ages ago because it was ages ago. Mm. But van itself is an inbuilt adventure. So hopefully the next video, you'll see us crying and whinging about that. <laughs> gonna finish this and then we're gonna go on a mini adventure <laughs> to a forest. Maybe adventure. Oh. Only 15 minutes and we'll be at Kaipo Forest. We have made it to Kaipo Forest Reserve and somehow we've come to an entrance where we are the only ones here. The entrance we've come to is an hour and a half loop through the forest and it smells so good in here. I wish this was smell of vision It's like pine and just so fresh and nice and it's a little bit cold. I feel like this is the perfect day for a little walk like this. Did not expect to be this out of breath. <laughs> Doing this walk, it's like a very easy walk, but we've been playing with our new drone and it has this tracking mode. So we've been running as fast as we can <laughs> to get away from it. That's the end of our little adventure. <laughs> we got the drone up here, which makes this forest look incredible, gives you the full scale of it. But we also tried the active track for the first time. <laughs> it's so much fun. I think the upgrade was worth it. It's... We were like full sprinting Man, and it was scary. falling behind. It feels like you're in a horror movie, especially because we're surrounded by these trees. Totally. <laughs> it's actually scary. Like if that was coming to you oh my God. in a menacing way, yeah. you were cooked. Make sure you follow along because from next week, we will be rebuilding the van. Actually rebuilding the van. Ooh. At least taking stuff out. And we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> we had a comment recently about it being unbecoming that you cheers food, so. Now we're doing it as much as we can. <laughs> Fun fact about me, donkeys are one of my favorite animals. Penguins are the top, but donkeys are right up there. I had no idea that this would be the case. So it makes this ex more exciting, <laughs> more happy.